right, drummers, it's me, Rob, from drumsaword.com. Just to let you know, I've released my new Drum Masters DVD pack. That's 11 DVDs worth of video drum lessons, drum charts, eBooks, and loads of other cool bonuses. I put a link somewhere on this page. You also get instant online access, unlike my last Drum Masters pack. So while you're waiting for these 11 DVDs to be delivered, you can be downloading the um, video straight away. And don't forget, you can download the PDF music for this lesson. I'm going to be teaching you how to play the drum solo at the end of the Foo Fighters' Best of You, drummed by the Gurnig Tum Thumper, Taylor Hawkins. And it occurs around four minutes, four, min um, four minutes into the song. And like I said, you can download the free PDF drum music for this. There's a link beneath this video as well. All right then, let's get on with the first part. So the drum solo is eight bars in total, and each of the bars starts with this very unique figure being played up on the crash cymbal and snare drum. One E and a two and right, left, right, right. Or whatever hands you want to use. One E and two hands. And for each bar, the drum fill E bit, the solo E bit, starts on beat three of the bar and lasts for two beats. Take a look at the first bar first. We've got 16th notes being played from beat three, and the tempo is 132 BPM. So we've got this tempo. We're playing four notes per click. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a four notes. To play 16th notes. And what Taylor does is he comes in on the E of beat two with his left hand. So we skip beat three and come in instead on the E, the 16th note upbeat of beat three. And we play left, right, left. And then for beat four, we simply play two on the high tom, two on the floor tom. So we kind of start on the snare drum, up here to the high tom, and then ending on the floor tom. Three E and a, four E and a. The whole bar slowly. One E and a, two and three E and a, four E and a. Here we're coming on the E of three there. One E and a, two and three E and a. So on to bar two now, and it starts the same. But now instead of playing through 16th notes from beat three, we play through 16th note triplets, and we can fit six of these bad boys into each click. So here's the click again, and we've got to fill six notes per click. Sixteenth note triplets. And what Taylor does to make it more interesting uh, or unusual compared to most drummers is he groups up his notes into groups of four. So usually we're playing triplets in groups of three or maybe even twos, but he plays it through groups of four. So over the length of the two beats, we can fit three groups of four through the 16th note triplets. And it's simply played four on the snare, four on the high tom, then four back on the snare drum. So the basic sticking is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Not too complicated, but feeling it through triplets is something you might not be used to, including myself. So um, slowly, if we sort of feeling the pulses, one and two and three to and to four to and to one and two and one and two and three to one and two and a little bit of a tip here, this is what I do. I'm sort of trusting my sticking to get me through here. So I'm not really counting three to the and the four to the and I'm not really feeling in groups of three. My, my hands are feeling um, in groups of four. So I'm still, I know my, I move to the next drum with my right hands. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I'm using my sticking to sort of help me to get through it. Get the pulse in your head though, and it's hopefully the sticking will get you through. Diddle 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 Da, da. So the whole bar slowly. One D and a two and three da and da one da and da one D and a two and three da and da one da and da one. Bit faster now. Da 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 So on to bar three, it starts the same as the previous bars, except now we're moving back to 16th notes, like in the first bar, three E and a four E and a four notes per beat. And the basic orchestration without any of the dynamics, without any of the ghost notes, which are quiet notes, by the way, written in brackets, is basically this. Three E and a four E and a. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Simply right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Snare high, snare, snare, snare high, floor, floor. What Taylor does is he has in some dynamics, a ghost note in particular, on the and of beat three, played with the right hand, and we play that note quietly. So we actually get this. You can also take out the ghost note instead if you can't play quiet notes and just play. But 
Taylor does include the, uh, the ghost notes. So with the stabs at the beginning, one D e and a two and B E and a four E and a whoops, one D e and a two and B E and a four E and a one. So for Barthol, we're playing through 16th note triplets again. That's six notes per beat, but we're using a grouping perhaps we're a little bit more familiar with, groupings of three. So it starts with a flam on the snare drum on beat three, three, and then think of the next bass drum, which I've, which I've actually written on the upbeat of the 16th note triplet on three, as falling on the E of three, straight afterwards. Three E, think of it as just that, da da, -da to start off with. We're gonna sort of swing it later on to make it sound like the way Taylor plays it. And then starting on the end of beat three, we've got two groupings of, whenever I see this, I think of John Bonham, this like Bonham lick, which is simply right, left foot, right, left foot, right, left foot. And we play that two times, and ta 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 which then rolls beautifully into the snare drum on the and of four. So we get and ta 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 and right, left foot, right, left foot, flam. So from beat three slowly, we sort of get this. It won't sound quite right at a slow tempo, but let's see how it goes. So I'm already starting to swing that bass drum now. Da 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 black da 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 black. So with the stabs at the beginning as well. That's how you play it slowly. A bit faster. B5 is really, really simple, but played with power, makes it sound quite exciting. Simply 16th notes, three E and a four E and a played all on the snare drum, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So make them even, make them powerful, make them strong, and it'll sound great. So for bar six, we're playing a very similar idea to bar three. We're playing through 16th notes, three eander, four eander. We're using some dynamics and ghost notes to make the notes pop out and, and sink behind and make it groovy and all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, and without any of the dynamics to start off with, the basic sticking is three E and a, and then four E and a, right, left, right, left. It's right, left, right, left all the way through. But that last bit is four E and a, snare, high, high, snare. If we add in the ghost notes now, which fall on the E of three and um, beat four itself, so it's the left hand and the right hand, we kind of get this right, right, left, left, right, left pattern. If we take out those ghost notes, Da 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 Right, right, left, left, right, left. If we add in the ghost notes now and fill in those gaps, we get this. Even slower. Beginning of Land of Confusion by Genesis. Da 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 uh, with the stabs as well, one E and a two and da 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 da. So again, you can leave out the ghost notes and just play right, right, left, left, right, left, and it would sound pretty much the same. With the ghost notes in. So for the seventh bar, we're using eighth note triplets, a subdivision we haven't used so far in the solo. And for eighth note triplets, we can play three notes per click, per beat. So the tempo is this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, diddly, 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 groups of three, whoever you want to count it. And with the stabs, we get one E and a two and three triplet, four triplet. Now what you might find a little bit tricky, and what I find a little bit tricky to start off with, when I first started using grouping together different subdivisions, such as eighth note triplets and sixteenth notes, is they, they feel quite unnatural next to each other. I don't know why, but sixteenth notes and eighth note triplets feel a little bit but they're great when you get them. So you might want to practice this along to a click. So if we, for example, slow down the click to, I don't know, uh, let's say 80, there we go. You might want to practice feeling 16th notes into triplets. So we'll be feeling, there's our 16th note. 
into triplets, eighth note triplets. Back to sixteenth notes. This is all extra stuff. You don't really have to be able to do this to be able to play the solo. You can sort of feel it. But it's nice to be able to hear one E and that two and three triplet, four triplet at that tempo. One D and a two and three triplet, four triplet, one D and a two and three triplet, four triplet. So you sort of get in the, un, under your skin the actual feel for it. Up to tempo. 132. Like that. And then for the last bar, we simply get one D and a two and and Taylor just chokes that last crash cymbal on the and of two. One knee and two, and. So you grab it with your other hand after striking it. I like to use this kind of grip where your thumb's on top and the other finger's underneath. Keep them nice and wide. You want to catch your finger on the edge of a cymbal. That really flipping hurts. Grab it in after, after striking it to create a choke. Like that. And then that's the whole solo. So don't forget you can download the free PDF for this lesson. I've got it on my website in the blog, so you can just click the link beneath this this video here and, and download it, have it in front of you for this lesson if you wanted to. And also do check out my new Drum Masters DVD pack, 11 DVDs packed worth of, uh, of loads of cool stuff. I'm really, really proud of it. Plus you get online access. And at the moment it's on a 40% discount for, for this uh, holiday season. So until next time, I see you. Happy drumming to you.